Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Taco Rick channel. As the title of the video says, this is gonna be the truth about my 2020 Tacoma TRD off-road. As you guys have come to know on the channel, this is my cement gray 2020 Tacoma. It now has over 10,000 miles. I just hit 10,000 miles the other day. And obviously it's been lifted with a three inch lift kit from Rough Country. We have fuel, 18 inch off-road rims, Duratrack tires, and a lot of other modifications, including custom headlights. If you haven't seen all the modifications done to this truck, it's all in the uh, video playlist on my channel. You can go check out all the mods that we've done. But on the note of the truth, behind this truck. I want to talk about the truck itself as well as the mods in terms of what is actually good and what is bad. Um, things that like I've, I ignore, that I get by with, that actually just kind of suck honestly about this truck, which I hate to say because I love this truck, but there are things that I do hate. So on that note, a lot of people always want to start off with like the good things about the truck, but I, I, let's take a different route. Let's start off with the negative things that I absolutely do not like about my 2020 Tacoma. So kicking it off with the number one thing that I hate about my Tacoma, and it's partially my fault, um, gas mileage gas mileage mpg now when this 2020 tacoma was stocked for the 118 miles that i had it stocked before i lifted it and put big wheels and tires and all that on it i was getting roughly about 18 miles per gallon which was similar to what i got on my 2018 when it was when it was stock as well but since putting the three inch lift kit from rough country and the 18 inch rims with the 32 inch uh, off-road tires i'm now getting anywhere from 13 to 15 miles per gallon depending if I'm doing city or highway driving. So a significant decrease in miles per gallon. Now MPG is a common question I've seen in the comments down below on various videos on this Tacoma. So I kind of wanted to address it here since I'm talking about MPG and I do plan on making a video on this, but the lift kit itself doesn't necessarily affect your MPG. When I lifted this truck and still had stock tires on it, I barely saw like one mile per gallon difference in my gas mileage. The biggest thing that affects your MPG is those big heavy tires and wheels. I mean those things weigh a lot more than what my stock tires do and the more weight you got to move the more power and the more gas you're going to burn through to move that so just something for you to keep in mind the bigger the tires the bigger the wheels you go the worse your gas mileage is going to be this is actually a very conservative off-road tire the dirt tracks are if you bought something like a nitto grappler you might be looking at even worse miles per gallon or just the fact that i'm rocking 32s versus 33s or even 35s I'm probably getting better gas mileage than if you got a bigger tire than what I'm rocking. So keep that in mind uh, when you are considering lifting your Tacoma. MPG sucks. The next negative thing that I have to talk about is the shift points when you are driving this thing on the highway. This is a very common thing known amongst all Toyota Tacoma third gen owners. The gear shifting on the Toyota Tacomas, uh, the whole entire third gen, 2016, even on the 2020s, they say they did something to fix it. I really didn't notice it at all, but it is a very shift happy transmission when you are going down the road. The automatic is, if you're on cruise, the thing loves the shift up, down, rev up, rev down. Even if you're driving with your foot, it still likes to jump up the four valve 5,000 RPM sometimes on the highway for what reason I don't know but that in combination with the MPG just mentally makes me think I'm burning more and more fuel because it's doing all these weird shifts and stuff like that I hate it, it that's like one of my pet peeves is driving on the highway and this thing loves to shift all over the place I don't like it at all now I have seen and I have been told that if I got a pedal commander for the Tacoma I could lessen that or make it better, I guess, is what I've been told. It gets, people don't say it gets rid of it. Some people say it gets rid of it. Um, so a pedal commander might be coming in the near future because there's one thing I hate, it's the shift points when I'm going down the highway. This thing just loves to shift all over the place, partially due to the bigger tires and stuff like that, but even in stock form, it was quite a bit shift happy. It's a lot more shift happy now that it's lifted and has bigger tires and wheels. But yeah, I don't like the shift points on the Toyota Tacoma. Negative. Now my last negative here before we get to the good things that I love about my Tacoma, I had to come to the back here for that right there. The composite bed on the Tacomas. Now this is not a huge gripe, 
This is just more of an inconvenience depending on what you use your truck for. The composite bed, while nice because it's really light and it helps you get better gas mileage, even though the gas mileage sucks anyways. Besides that point, the composite bed is lighter than say a steel or an aluminum bed, which is nice when it comes to overall driving, but it dings up easily with things like metal pipes or big metal base plates. And if you have like really sharp corners, you can definitely ding up the composite bed. It's something that is a little bit of an inconvenience, but uh, depending on what you actually use your truck for. Don't expect to be able to walk up to this truck and throw a shovel in the back of it. It's probably gonna ding into the composite bed, especially if it's a pointed shovel. So it's not the most durable bed in the world. It definitely is strong. Like I'm very impressed with what it can take a beating with being a composite bed, not metal, but it's definitely not as durable as like a steel or an aluminum bed. For me, I don't use my bed a ton. Um, if I am using it, it's normally to transport DJ gear, which is just basically big plastic cases or stuff that has covers on it. So it's not gonna ding it up at all. So for what I use it for, it's not a big deal. Depending on what you use it for, it could be a really big negative. So keep that in mind. All right, let's get on to the good stuff. And I wanna start things off by talking about storage, storage compartments throughout the truck. The Toyota Tacoma has a bunch of them, especially compared to some other trucks out there. So up front, nothing crazy. You got a glove box, you got a center box right here. Well, I have a little divider thing right here, but there's a center box with more storage down there. The main part is in the back here. So there's storage underneath the seats. So you have plenty of space down here. This runs the full length. And then you also have storage behind the seats. Now, in the case of the premium models that have the JBL sound system, there is a subwoofer in this back compartment, but if you get an SR5 or a or one of the Tacomas that does not have the JBL sound system, this is a full-size back pocket as well. I'll show you how big it is on the driver's side seat over there. So behind the seat, there is this big pocket right here, which is fairly deep. You can fit a lot of stuff in here. And like I said, if you don't have the JBL sound system, that pocket over there is gonna be just as big as this, but the full length. So tons of storage to store stuff in your Tacoma. And if that wasn't enough, there's also storage in the bed right behind here. So storage in the bed, storage up front, tons of storage on your Toyota Tacoma. Now, yes, a lot of other trucks do have that much storage, if not more. But for me, when I was looking at buying this truck, I also looked at the bigger Toyota Tundra. And one of the biggest strikers to me was that there was no storage. Like, there was no storage under the seats, behind the seats. There was literally none. It's definitely a lot more room. There was a crap load of room in the truck, but there was no storage areas, which kind of just blew my mind that the Tacoma has way more storage areas. And on that note, speaking of things that the Tundras also don't have, an outlet. All of your TRD model Tacomas come with a Edison outlet in the back of the Tacoma. Now this outlet is turned on by a switch up front and it provides 400 watts of power when the truck is not moving and 100 watts of power when the truck is moving. And I can tell you straight up, this thing is one of my number one favorite things about this Tacoma. I love it. I'm a DJ, so uh, we use electronics out at events. A lot of times we're out at barn venues, middle of nowhere, and the amount of times that this thing has come in handy as just a backup way to power something, even just working on the truck. So if I'm somewhere and I need to work on the truck, I can plug in an extension cord, I can plug in a light, I can plug in a speaker. It's just really helpful that I have an outlet that I can power stuff with on the go wherever I want. This thing comes in handy more times than not and uh, it's it's one of my favorite features of this whole entire truck. Now on my next positive thing I came to the inside of the truck because I wanted to talk about the technology. The technology on the 2020 Tacomas and the TRD models. I have the premium like premium upper like max loaded out Tacoma. If you guys didn't see my full walkthrough video of what all I have but basically maximum everything is in this Tacoma minus the 360 camera which personally I think is pointless unless you do a lot of heavy off-roading. So before I actually show you some of my favorite features inside this in terms of technology, I just gotta say, it's not overboard. It's not like a Ford or a Dodge that has tons and tons of technology built into it, but everything that's built into it works and works really well. So most notable on the 2020 Tacomas, they added Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. I obviously have an Android. I got this cool little magnet phone mount right here, but this just overall finally makes the Tacoma work a lot better with your phone. Just like it's seamless, the entertainment between Spotify, open up Spotify, having it on the screen here just works really, really well. And it just makes the overall entertainment portion seamless. And speaking on the entertainment right here, the JBL sound system right here. I mentioned this on the full walk around of my truck. The JBL sound system 
the premium JBL audio sound system that is in the Tacoma is definitely not the craziest or the best sound system I've ever heard in a stock vehicle, not by a long shot, but it definitely is a big upgrade from the stock sound system. I had the stock sound system in my 2018 Tacoma, and I can tell you right now, it was a night and day difference walking into this truck and listening to the sound system, especially with the eight inch subwoofer, it helps complete the overall sound in the truck, and just overall, it's a way better sound system. And me being a DJ, being a very audio, a uh, heavy person. I like to listen to very high quality audio. This sound system just does songs justice compared to my stock one, which just, I, I didn't really care to listen to a lot of songs in here because it wasn't full range. It lacked clarity. This sound system is nice. It's full range. Again, it's not the best in the world, but it definitely does songs justice and it sounds really good, especially compared to stock. And then overall, there's just little features that are in the technology package, the premium package with the TRD. that are just features that you get so used to that when you go to like your parents' car or your friend's car that doesn't have them, you just feel kind of lost. One of the biggest things for me is keys. So the having the push the start and not just the push the start, but the unlocking of the truck when I grab the door handle and being able to lock the door with uh, just being on the outside of the truck, not having to use my keys is awesome. It works so great. The radar cruise control, I know a lot of people hate it. A lot of people love it. I personally love it for long road trips. I drive a lot of highway miles. So the radar cruise control, being able to set it and just kind of honestly lay back like a gangster in my chair here and just kind of let the truck drive is awesome. I love having that feature. It makes those long road trips a lot easier that the truck will brake and accelerate for me to stay at whatever speed we're driving at on for cruise. Blind spot monitoring, never had it in a vehicle before, but it's definitely saved my ass a couple times trying to merge on and I didn't really catch a car that was in my blind spot. So for that, I love having that on the truck. The parking sensors, I shut that off completely. I, I guess that's a gripe, but that's just personally my opinion. I don't use parking sensors because I know how to back up. I know how to use my mirror and back up so um, I hate the parking sensors because it just beeps like crazy at me every time I'm trying to back into my garage and for you guys that didn't know what I was talking about when it comes to the door handle trucks unlocked right now I have the key in my pocket I can just swipe right here and it locks the truck and then say I want to get into the truck all I do is grab the door handle it unlocks it's just simple technology things like that being able to lock the truck walk away walk back up to the truck it, it's awesome. Then one other little cool technology thing that I noticed with the Tacoma, when I walk up to the truck at night, because I have the keyless entry, when I get close to the Tacoma, the interior lights turn on. Before I even unlock it, they turn on, which is kind of cool, because you see in your truck, it gives you a little bit of illumination to see what you're doing, and you can unlock your truck then and get into it. Kind of a cool little feature. Now, while still on the topic of technology, I honestly thought this was gonna be a negative thing. Like originally, I, like, I had no use of why I would wanna use this, but it's the Toyota app where basically you can start, stop the truck, unlock it, lock it, see all the stats on it. Personally, when I first got the truck, I mean, I didn't see any usage at all for it, especially since when you do start the truck, when you go to actually come up to the truck and you unlock it, it shuts the truck off as a security feature. So I was like, why would I ever want to start my truck? Um, I keep my truck in a garage right beside my apartment. I walk downstairs, I open it, I start it, like, what's the big deal? But then I started to go places with the truck. And here in North Carolina, it is extremely hot in the summer. Like I'm sweating right now trying to film this video for you guys in the evening. So having the ability to say if I go to the grocery store and while I'm in the grocery store to start my truck and get the AC running and get it nice and cooled off, especially having an all black interior with leather seats, uh, getting the AC going, cooling off the truck or when I'm at work, um, before I head out to go to my truck, I could start it, get all the AC going. It has actually become a feature that I really use and I really enjoy having um, rather than not having because the worst feeling ever is coming to a hot truck with leather seats where everything is just like you can't even touch it because the sun's been beating down on it. So having that ability to just use it to start and stop my truck, well mostly just to start my truck when I'm places to get the AC running, it came in very handy. One other thing that I love about my 2020 Tacoma, the sunroof, 10 out of 10, especially down here in North Carolina, being able to open that thing up and drive and cruise, roll down all the windows, just 10 out of 10 awesome. Love that feature. And most notably, my absolute favorite feature on the Tacoma is just the looks. Now obviously it's been modded out and everything like that, but the looks of this Tacoma are just 
I, I can't stop. Like I could stare at this all day if I wanted to. As much as I love my previous 2018 Tacoma, in reality, this was actually the Tacoma I was looking for back when I was buying my 2018. I was looking for a cement gray because I wanted to get the cement gray. I wanted to black out everything and basically do exactly what I did to this truck right here. So the fact that I've basically created that now and it's like basically done. Now, obviously there's a lot of other little things that I want to do to the Tacoma. Maybe go with a bigger lift down the road. Maybe go bigger tires maybe put uh, Raptor lights on the front of it, just little stuff like that. But for the most part, the looks of this truck are done. This is what I've always wanted. This is the truck that I wanted to have. Now it just comes down to some of the performance mods that I want to do to it. So I, I just can't not note that one of my favorite things or the truth about my Tacoma is all the negative stuff, the looks just, I the looks are worth, um, like the looks, like just, just look at it, just, just look at it. Now, I popped my hood here to show you my last favorite feature of the Tacoma. For me personally, it's the biggest reason why I love it, and that is how easy it is to modify. Not only are there tons of companies making modifications and stuff you can buy for this Tacoma, like I barely scratched the surface. You got like racks and all kinds of overlanding stuff. The feature that I love the most is how open the engine bay is for a modern truck. Anyone with a newer truck or a newer vehicle will straight up know that most engine bays are very tight and they put a crap load of plastic and stuff that makes it super hard to actually get anything done or work on them. I mean, the Tacoma is so wide open and easy to access everything. Now, note I did take the stock air intake off here and put a cold air intake in it, but even then there's still tons of room to be able to actually modify there's tons of room up here space for days to put stuff you can put air compressors all kinds of space up here in the engine bay and i mean this is just a little cover here it just pops right off um you can see the v6 engine but down the line just having this much space and this ease of being able to work on the engine bay is super helpful and lastly it's a toyota it's a tacoma um the third gens have proven themselves i mean they started making them in 2016 to be a very long a reliable vehicle to be able to drive the engine the transmission even though I hate the shift points has proven to be a very reliable setup and that right there is worth the price alone of admission to buying yourself a Tacoma because it's going to last you practically forever I mean that's my plan with this is this truck's going to last me forever so with that said that is basically the truth about my 10,000 miles now on my 2020 Tacoma TRD off-road premium fully loaded now modified the heck and back uh, Toyota Tacoma. It's got 10,000 miles on it. I love it. There are those few negative things that I mentioned, mostly gas mileage. So if you guys have any suggestions for future videos, modifications, stuff that you think I should put on my Tacoma, leave it down in the comment section down below. If you haven't already seen all the other videos that I've done on the mods so far, check them out. They're on the channel as well. Everything including the newly added light bar, which I love. Um, tons of stuff on this Tacoma. So check it out. Don't forget to hit that like button. Leave down the comment section down below. Hit that subscribe button. And with that said, Taco Rick out. Peace.